We have a job to do. And as we go through this, we need to have hearts that are open to those that are not exactly like us. For those who are leading in music, if you please come. I just want to give you three last thoughts. They're in your notes. Three commitments I'm going to challenge us to do. First one's be bold. Be bold in how you live your life. Be bold in what you say. Be bold in how you act. Be bold in everything you do. Be bold. Second challenge commitment asks us to do. If we're going to falter on one side or the other, let's err on the side of grace. People in our world need grace more than anything else. Grace is hard to give because sometimes we just want to give judgment. I'm thankful that Jesus erred on the side of grace for me. I'm thankful that he looked at me in my life, says, well, Brian, I love you. I still love you. Even with your faults and your sins and all that stuff, Brian, I'm going to give you grace. thing to challenge us to commit to. Remain open-handed. That means allow God to use you. Don't try to hold on and keep things just the way they are for your personal life. God still wants to use you. God still wants to work through you. And it's easier to give away when your hand's open. It's easier to be received. If someone walks up to me and says, Hey, Pastor Brian, with fists clenched, I think they want to hit me. Hey, Pastor Brian. Be bold. Err on the side of grace. And remain open-handed. Because I believe that we truly believe what James said in that passage. He pretty much said, you know what, I can't answer all the questions about it. I, I don't know all the details, but here's what I know. Let us not make it difficult for those who are turning to God. That's the most important thing. Would you bow your heads with me? Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you would confirm your holy word in our lives today. Lord, I pray that you help us to be the church 